No, they haven't made it yet. But I'm just gonna give it to them straight. There shouldn't be any problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, hey, you know what? I think they just made it and call you back. Who are you? I'm Lana Wilkerson. Not you. <laughs> oh, not the kind of party I was looking for. Are you the one that left the message? You got a message too? Gentlemen, can you please have a seat and let me explain? <laughs> My name is Constance Jefferson. I am the executive for the estate of Kimberly Jacobs. How do you know? Miss Jefferson. Kim? Oh, hell no. Yo, will y'all let the woman finish? Please. Miss Jameson left you all a million dollars to split amongst Ooh. yourselves. No, this is a scam. I'm out. Man, what do you got to do for this million dollars? Well, I have the disclosure right here, but I can summarize it for you. Okay. Ms. Jameson left the four men she's ever loved a million dollars to split amongst themselves with the one condition. You take care of her baby channel. Baby? baby? I don't need a baby. Wait, who's Chandler's father? I ain't the baby. How old is Chandler anyways? I ain't, I, man, I ain't seen Kimmy in seven years. Is this legit? Yeah, I mean, it's been notarized. Has it been approved by the probate court? All I would need is your signature, social security numbers, and proof of ID. Then it'll all be sent over to the judge. I mean, you can get anybody to notarize something. Nah, man, it's been approved by the judge. How do you know? Because I'm an attorney. Oh, so you so called Kim's first love. Hey, man, <laughs> what me and Kim had is none of y'all's business. Guys, Stay out of here. you can share love stories later. Are you in or out? What about Chandler? I can't walk through the door with a kid, especially when it's not mine. Yo, know, is that the only way to get the money? That's the agreement. Well, gentlemen, Good luck to you. <laughs> Say, man, you gonna walk away from a million dollars? You mean 250,000. Man, it's not even worth it. As soon as I walk through the door with Chandler, she's gonna take the kids, the money, everything. I'm out now. Nah. Mm -mm. Well? Yo, fellas. I say we do rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> and whoever wins to take the the money. Are you stupid? Man, I'm not playing no damn game. We gonna split this evenly. So we gonna split the tie with Chandler? Man, I ain't got no time for a child right now. I'm in the prime of my life and the child will only slow me down. You that selfish? Man, what are you? You sound like a broad, man. Mr. Thomas, may I remind you the only way to get the money is to become the guardian of Chandler? That's bullshit. Now, now, what if you live in another city? What if caught off the wall? You're not even in the military. Man, who are you, my mother? Look, I'm proud of you, no, Wait a minute, fella, 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 fella. <laughs> Calm down. It's only money. <laughs> so constant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Miss Jefferson. My bad, Miss Jefferson. You seem like a nice, attractive young lady. And I know Kim put you in charge because you know how to handle business. Now, I know you're getting paid for this, but it's probably not a lot. I'm quite sure we can work off something, you know, under the table. How about we all give her a grand or a few grand each? We all give her a few grand each. <laughs> And then you can say, you know, we signed the paper, and then, you know, you can keep Chandler. Or, hell, you can put him up for adoption. She, or you can adopt. <laughs> I mean, we all can come spend his time with her as possible, and then we all can be rich and happy. <laughs> Mr. Barnes, that has to be the most ignorant idea I've ever heard. <laughs> I will say, though, I commend you for at least wanting Chandler adopted, but that's not part of the agreement. Hear me out, gentlemen. I'm not here to be wooed, nor am I interested in the amount of testosterone that you can display to me. I'm only here to ensure that Ms. Jameson's wishes are met. Now, if you can't all agree, then the money will go to Chandler, and then the state will appoint a guardian. A whole lot of time's been wasted here, gentlemen, so either man up or walk away. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Wilkerson. You're now a rich man. A rich single father. Only one sign of disclosure. Yeah, I'll let him know. So when do I meet Chandler? By the way, for the girl report. It's a boy. Here's the address to pick up Chandler and then take this umbrella with you. What does he look like? He's about a foot off the ground with a white coat. What? Does he have a birth defect? Mr. Wilkerson. Chandler's a Maltese. A dog? <laughs> Chandler's a dog. You're now the owner of a million dollar dog. Yes, I'm about to get paid! <laughs> <laughs>